Good morning and happy Friday. Jessie, are you playing with your maracas? Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all okay and had a lovely week. Today's Friday. Me and Jessie are not doing anything today, although the sun is gorgeous and beaming. So I might take him out for a walk a bit later on. But if you haven't already guessed, I'm unwell again. No idea what's up with me. Um, so I might take him out for a walk a bit later on to the park and go and get a toastie from the shop. <laughs> um, I've got a few bits to do this morning though. I need to edit my vlog because I didn't get a chance to do it yesterday. And do some other little bits. The house is pretty much tidy because I did it all yesterday. Um, oh, look at that. That's just ruining my whole vibe. And yeah, that's it really. Jimmy's obviously gone to work. Um, and we're just having a chill day because I think we both need it, to be honest. Jess is still um, being sick quite a lot after his bottles. He's still got a chesty cough and he's still got a blocked nose. But he's way more better in himself. Um, thank goodness. Um, like, he's still happy as playing, but he's just being sick still after his bottles. Like, it's been a week now. A week today, he started with, like, projectile vomiting and now it's just like... It's not projectile, but it's like a lot of a lot of sick coming out. Um, the past few days, it's just been like mucus. Sorry, this is really horrible. Um, but I don't know what's. I'm, I don't know. It might be a week long bug that he's got. So poor boy. Um, I have no idea why why I'm poorly again. This is now the third time in two weeks I'm poorly. This is not like me at all. I don't know what's up with me. I think I need to get some more fruit and veg diamond to be honest. Um, build the immune system up. But I'm uh, I'm alright, I feel alright, it's just I'm really congested here and I'm still coughing a lot. Um, but you know what, it don't matter, I push through it. Um, I don't feel as bad as I did the past two times I've been poorly. So yeah, I'm working tomorrow, actually, I've just realised I'm working tomorrow. So um, it'll be another Jimmy Takeover video tomorrow. And then on Sunday, we're doing something. I'm not 100% if we are going yet, but we have got something planned with my mum and dad. Um... I'm going to like this little street food place. They're walking. I'm not walking. I'm getting the car. <laughs> my excuse is that Jesse um, and need to get in the car. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just about to get my laptop out now and um, edit my video, get it up as soon as because it's going to be late today. And then I'm going to finish off watching Selling Sunset. I probably will finish it today. Um, and oh, I've got the old poly dress coming later on. Um, so hopefully that fits. I'm, I, I, I have a feeling it's going to be too tight. Because I think all poly sizing is super small. But hopefully we look alright. I'm just worried about my stomach area because it's like a bodycon dress. Like tight bodycon. Um, but we'll see. I loved the bits from Miss Guided yesterday. I've actually got this lounge set on again. Honestly, if you want to treat yourself to a lounge set, this one, I think it was £28 for the flares and the top. But the quality is just beautiful and it like it just feels so nice like i ate i ate chilling throughout the day in tight clothes that's why i don't get dressed that's why i don't put clothes on because if i feel uncomfy it's just it's ruined my day so that's why i stay in pajamas or loungewear and this one is really lovely like i said yesterday i wasn't actually going to go for this color um it's a color i don't usually go for to be honest but all the others had sold out so they must be really popular um, but definitely when I have chance to I'm going to probably get another one of these because you can go out and into the shop so you can chill in them all day so I think it's like a nice little lounge set anyway I'm going to crack on now I've just made myself a cup of tea and I've got a fruit breakfast bar because I forgot to eat yesterday and I have mashed potato and gravy anyway also I think I mentioned in were it yesterday's or the day before I was a vlog that I was on about booking Jessie's first birthday party well I've booked it it's all booked <laughs> Um. It's not until October, obviously, but I thought I'd get in there because the date that I originally wanted for it, they didn't even have available. So obviously people are booking things like now. So I've had to have it on a different day anyway. Um, so I booked it and I'm looking forward to it. Well, I'm not, but I am. Um, I just need to come up with a little theme. I like the safari, like wild, a wild one theme. Um, but like I said, you don't really show interest into like a particular thing apart from the matchstick monkey. So <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Might just do like blue. I don't know. But yeah, I've booked it. And it's gonna be here sooner than we think it'll come round so quick. Won't it? Yeah, it will. My little Jessie. He's growing up too quick. Right, Jessie's having a nap, so I've come in here. Um so I am so tired today, when am I not? Um 
I've ordered a Starbucks coffee um, because my friend Rebecca ordered a Starbucks the other day. She put it on her Instagram and I thought, what is that? Because I need it. I've never tried this before. It is an iced white mocha with caramel drizzle and no whipped cream. So I've never had like an iced white mocha before. I thought it was just an American thing to be honest. And then I've got a triple chocolate cookie. So I'm going to try this. nice yeah it's nice it's really nice I can't describe it but it just tastes like sweeter than like normal coffee Um, it's nice I like it so I'm gonna eat these now just finished editing my vlog I'm freezing I'm proper cold and it's so warm outside but Jess is just having a little nap bless him I'm gonna try and let him stay down as long as possible I've just realised all like the white mocha is at the bottom, so I'm going to give it a stir. Because um, it tastes nice, it's just like not like a strong, it's not like very strong like mocha tasting. So I'm going to give it a little stir. Alright, let's try again. Mmm, I can really taste it now. That's lovely. Really nice. Highly recommend if you don't like coffee that much, like this, this, a strong coffee, that's lovely because you can still kind of taste the coffee, but it's like more sweet than anything. It's really, really nice that. Jesse's still fast asleep. I ran the doctors because um, his sickness has been going on for like a week now, and I've had a look online. I know you should look online, um, but it says like if it were a proper sickness book, it'd only last like two or three days, um, and it's been like a week now that he's been being sick and like. It's strange because sometimes he's himself and then other times he's like not at all and like whimpering and crying and things. Um, so I've just rang him just to make sure that he's all good. They've got no face to face appointments left because I've obviously rang too late. It's about half eleven I think. Um, so someone's giving me a call back today at some point. I think he's alright to be honest. It doesn't seem anything sinister to me because mostly he's fine in himself. It's just like he's... When, I, when I'm thinking about it now, I probably should have rang earlier because he's not actually had a full bottle in a week. And if he has had a full bottle, it's just come straight back up. But it's like, it's been like different every day. So like last weekend, it was just projectile. Then the past few days, it's just been mucus. And then last night and this morning, it's been like just a lot of sick. Um, obviously, he's got a runny nose. I'd say his nappies have been a little bit worse than usual. Um... I don't know, it's so hard isn't it sometimes to decide whether you need to bring a doctor or not because sometimes I do feel like I'm being a hindrance and that sounds really bad because obviously his health is like paramount and I should be, you know, I don't know, does anyone else get like that because <clears throat> I just feel like sometimes they just think like well why have you come in if he's just being sick, do you know what I mean, if it's just a tummy bug or it's just a viral infection whatever just go home you'll be fine but it's been a week now surely he should have started to you know get back onto his milk again he is hungry like last night he was really really hungry took at the bottle but just threw it straight back up again um and yeah i don't know anyway i rang him anyway just to be safe on the safe side someone's given me a call back but last time i think i was waiting like a good four hours before i got a call back so we'll see i'll see what they say hopefully he's um it's all good hi little boy you all right He's just woke up from a three hour nap. Um, I'll update you in a second, I'm just gonna show you my dress that's come. Uh, it's actually really nice to be honest. Um, I just, I don't know. Mm. I mean, it's nice, but obviously I need to fake tan because if not I just look super pale and you can just see like, my mum told me here, but from the back it looks lovely. <laughs> From the back it's lovely, it's got like a scrunch there so it looks nice. Um, but obviously like from the side I just feel like I look a bit... And that's me breathing in. Um, but I think with fake tan and things it might look a little different. If I put the ruche in there you can't really tell. I don't know. Anyway, I think I'm going to keep it. Because um, it's actually quite nice and I could use this for multiple events and things. So I am going to keep it. I think it'll look better once I've fake tanned and once I've got makeup and hair on and things like that. So the doctors rang. Um, and asked how he'd been and stuff. I literally told him everything, how he's been sick, um, nose congested, trusty cough, um, 
saying that he, he's not been himself, but sometimes he still plays. He's still like sometimes laughing and smiling, but overall he's not been himself for the past week. So she said, you can either bring him in or I'll give you some antibiotics and a saline spray. So I just thought, well, there's no point taking him in if, if he's going to be on antibiotics. Like, it's fine, I'll just go and get them. So I spoke to my mum and she said, but why is she giving you antibiotics? Like, what is the reason for the antibiotics? So I said, I don't know, she didn't say. Um, because if it is viral, obviously, you don't need antibiotics for a viral infection or a cold or anything like that. So obviously, it's doing him more harm than good, being on antibiotics, because if you don't need them, then it's going to make, I don't know, it's just not good for him. So I don't actually know the reason why he's been prescribed antibiotics, obviously none with penicillin in because he's allergic to that. So now I don't know what to do. He was just asleep then. He's just woke up after his three hour nap. Um, and his breathing just looked a little bit, I don't know if I'm panicking. I don't know if I'm panicking. Um, but it seemed to just suck in a little bit. So I took his vest off to see if it would make him like a V shape. And it's not now that he's awake. So I don't know if it's because he was like in a deep sleep. So now he's like playing and stuff and he seems all right um like he's rolling about on the floor as soon as he woke up he picked up his matchstick monkey but he's not had a bottle since since we got up so eight half eight he's not had a bottle since half eight and it's now half past one nine ten eleven twelve one so in five hours he usually goes every three hours uh and he's not had any milk so i don't know if i'm best off just ringing one 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 because Obviously it's been a week now, he's been sick um, and I don't actually know the reason why he's on antibiotics. I probably should have said I'll go in and, and see a doctor but I thought at the time like there's no point me going in to see a doctor if they're just going to prescribe him antibiotics like this lady has over the phone. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to try him with this bottle and if he throws it back up, I think I'm going to speak to somebody else because... This happened last time with the rash. I had a phone call appointment, nobody saw him in person. So I had to take him through to a &E and it's a good job I did because it's just a good job we did because we ended up being there, we saw a paediatric doctor, we got an urgent referral to dermatology and A&E were absolutely amazing last time. But I feel wrong taking him to A&E because he's all right in himself. Like if he was floppy or unresponsive, of course, I'd, I'd probably ring 999 in that situation. But... um. I don't know, it's just so difficult, isn't it? I don't really know what to do, to be honest. So I think I'm going to see how he is after this bottle. If not, we have like an iHeart. I don't know if everybody has this in their area. But we have a thing called iHeart and it's like an out-of-hours GP thing, but it's at the hospital. Um, it just You just turn up, I think, or you ring up and they ask you to come in. But you are waiting a little bit longer there. It's a bit like A&E, but not as urgent, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, but that doesn't open until 4 o'clock. So I don't know, I don't know if that breathing was because he was like in a deep sleep because I obviously know you, you breathe a little bit heavier when you're asleep, don't you? Is that, I don't know. Um, and now he's awake, it seems alright, so I don't know. He's like playing and things, so you alright? I don't know, I might try him with some milk and see if he'll take his milk and see if it comes back up. Oh, palaver, Jessie, eh? <laughs> What a palaver, you look a bit pale. Right, I'm gonna be super quick because I need to get in the shower and get ready for work tomorrow. Um, but basically, I can't remember the last thing I filmed, to be honest. Um, so, obviously, the GP's prescribed his antibiotics without seeing him. Um, and I just think, why has he got antibiotics? Like, there was no reason um, she gave me why, why he's got antibiotics. Um, like, if it's a viral infection, you don't have antibiotics, so... Um, for a second opinion, I ran 111 because um, he just didn't seem right to me. So I ran 111. He was asleep at the time when I rang him. And the guy on the phone was really, really lovely um, and just said, like, I just need to do like a, an examination and ask you some questions. Um, can, you wake, can you wake him up um, to do the examination? And usually Jesse is a super light sleeper like me. I've said this before, like I, I only have to speak and I'll wake up. Um, same on a night, like if I move the duvet covers, he's literally awake. Um, so I was shaking him, not like rough. I was like going, Jesse, Jesse, and he wasn't waking up. Um, so then I started to panic and cry, and I was like, he's not waking up, he's not waking up. And then he did wake up and then shut his eyes straight back to sleep again. So I panicked a lot, and I was like, he's not responding to me like he usually does, like he normally 
like wakes up straight away so i was panicking thinking there was something like really sinister going on like with this whole vomiting thing so he said right i'm sending an ambulance and things um anyway like a few minutes after that jesse had actually woke up and um, was just very still very quiet um and eventually the ambulance came it wasn't like an emergency like blue lights or anything like that um but they came in the paramedics they were really really lovely um they literally did all the checks i feel quite bad that they got sent out to be honest but in that moment i was really panicking that he wasn't responding to me and wasn't waking up and i was obviously if you're a mum i'm sure you'll agree with me that it's a very scary thing when you're trying to put your baby up and they're not they're just like laid there just fast asleep um so they did all the checks che checked his chest and everything everything was completely fine um and then they said right, we'll take you into the hospital uh, just to see a doctor just to make sure um and i was like yeah that's fine um i was fine at this point because they'd done all the checks and everything he was absolutely fine no like bad chest or anything right i'm here now because my um camera ran out just getting jesse ready for bed aren't we gonna say hi to everybody so yeah they checked him all over everything was good um we went up to the hospital um nurse saw him uh doctor saw him and said it was i can't pronounce it begins with a p something vomiting and basically it's um because before he vomits he coughs and then gips and that's what it is pros pros something vomiting and basically i think this is how he explained it it's like because his body isn't used to the coughing like sometimes when we cough I'll, you'll get sometimes you know if you cough excessively well their body's not used to the coughing so it just brings up sick and he basically said that's what um that's what's been happening um so he thinks the cough is viral and then it's bringing obviously the sick up so um he said not to use the antibiotics that the gp had prescribed him and i wasn't going to do that anyway to be honest i just wanted confirmation that um we weren't to use them so yeah that's it really he said it'll just go away on its own i'm glad i got him checked because i'm a peace of mind now he's been absolutely fine since we got home so yeah basically he's okay um and you know what i've been to that to our a and &E with jesse twice and both times i've had such a good experience because everyone was so lovely the paramedics were so lovely i wasn't actually concerned when the paramedics came and they did all the checks because they literally did a heel prick, they te te checked his chest and everything and everything was fine. They just said, do you want to take him to see a doctor just to make sure? And I said, just to put my mind completely at rest, yeah. Um, and I'm glad I did because now we know what's wrong and it's all good. It's just one of them things, unfortunately. But he's absolutely fine now, as you can tell, he's trying to grab the camera. So honestly, mums out there, if you are like me and just so worried to ring people, just do it. <laughs> you know, like obviously i know if your babies were in serious danger you would of course ring but you know when you're in two minds just do it because you know what's the worst they can say you know it's just a, it's just a sickness bug it'll go away in a few days that's not even like you know like that's all they can say if it's nothing serious so just do it if you know just put your mind at rest because if not i feel like i would have been panicking all day still because i have been like a bit on edge all week with it and now it's just i'm like yep it'll go away in a few days I went to Jesse and everyone who saw him said oh he's absolutely gorgeous I'm like I know <laughs> so he texts after his dad <laughs> didn't you so basically all night we got home he had a massive long nap we've had some milk haven't we um, me and Jimmy ordered fish and chips it was absolutely gorgeous however I am regretting it a little bit now because I am so full I've been thinking about the old poly dress I ordered and I'm not sure, um, I didn't take any photos in it but I'm going to have a look back on the footage of what I took of it earlier. I just, I don't know, I feel like I'm going to be, be a bit uncomfortable in it all night but oh, I don't know, I'm not even bothering looking for any more dresses because it's doing my head in. Um, I feel like crap if I'm really being honest with you all. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it, I've tried not to to be honest because I feel like these past two weeks all I've said is I'm unwell. But I'm just really, really congested. I'm actually working tomorrow as well, so um, I'll see if Jimmy will do some clips as well. Are you getting tired? Are you getting tired, little man? Hello. Hello. I've actually brought him up to bed. It's Well, I brought him up to bed at half nine because um, I just want to go to sleep, to be honest. I'm so tired. Um... So yeah, I'm actually going to end this vlog here. I'm really sorry for not videoing it, anything tonight, obviously. Um, we, I've just been chilling out. I've been feeling like crap. So 
not really done much to be honest apart from scoff fish and chips so i hope you've all had a lovely day this will be going up on sunday so i hope you have a lovely start to your week tomorrow it'll be may wow happy may everybody white rabbit i always say white rabbit at the beginning of every month i know you're only supposed to say is it in april but i say it at the beginning of every month my first word i wake up at two o'clock in the morning sometimes and go white rabbit when it's the first of every month anyway that's just me and my superstitions being weird i'm gonna get off to sleep now i'll see you all tomorrow um i don't know how much footage it's gonna be tomorrow because i'm at work but i'll see you all tomorrow